Uh, you're fully correct. I mean, it's a different ways to handle project. On, I would say it's still a challenge here, I would say in certain markets. We spoke about nanogram uh, level OELs and uh, the toughness to measure and process the entire thing. Now, when you speak about like extreme level, like micronized high potent APIs, that is say less than one nanogram. I don't know, They're just less, less than one nanogram. What is the containment strategy that is to be implemented, which includes a design, integrated processes, the plant safety, person safety, and product safety. And what is the modern approach to high potent APIs, basically? I will say, uh, I will not necessarily go to the micronized part yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, we already spoke Let's about. go about our kind of a new requirement that we are facing today in the industry. One of them is our, what we call ADC, antibody and drug conjugate. Uh, in fact, this is in fact target, targeted medicines where you will attach in fact, a part uh, cytotoxin to uh, biotech, on maybe we can discuss this later as well. Yeah. But the requirement there is very strict because due to the high potency, due to the very small amount which has to be our, you know, conjugate, you need to get to level of less than 10 nanogram per cubic meters. Uh -huh. What is differentiate an isolator who can achieve 10, 1, 0.1, yeah. or 0, 0.01? That's a big question. On, in fact, you need to put different strategy. The strategy, you have to look not only at the equipment itself, but you have to look at all effluents, all the waste, because waste treatment will be contaminated as well. That means how you treat them, how you guarantee the cleanability or so. You have to look at the maintenance, the cleanability of equipment also. On mean that the integration of process equipment is the key. You cannot just take equipment, throw them away in the box. Yeah. This is kind of the standard of the industry. You just put a... a contaminant around, he said, I'm okay, I have gloves, I'm, I'm safe. But in fact, that's not the way you have to follow. You have to relook at every process equipment, redesign them accordingly. As an example, if I put our IGT in vessels in isolators, I cannot have the motor inside because the motor is not cleanable. Yeah. You have to get the motor outside the isolators, specific our sealing system with the shaft also, in order that you can guarantee, in fact, the cleanability of the equipment. You have to look at uh, when you have the, one of the biggest challenges is analytic, analytical instrument. They're not designed for containment. Yeah. That's why you have to work with the suppliers uh, in order to see how you can redesign the instrument that most part will be outside the containment envelope and only keep the key part inside. That's why it's all the strategy all along uh, apart. If I look as well on um, when you can create condensate from a tray dryers or so, you have to look how to bring back this condensate, which are contaminated because there will be some carryover of operation, yeah. back to the isolation system that you can treat them as well and uh, take them out of their uh, containment part in a contained manner as well. So a lot of strategy involved in every process aspect. And that's why there is no possibility to separate process equipment on containment. They should be working ends to end together. All right, so so, I think it's from the day one that we need to think of this uh, before we actually implement the plant, right? Correct. You cannot. It's a strategy. Yeah. It's a philosophy, I would yeah. say, and um, that's the difficulties because customer, uh, you know, mostly in Indian market, they like to have very cost sensitive. That's why they believe that you can have really each different suppliers. You can try to get the best price of all of them, and then you put them together. Yeah. And that's why they have failed. Many, many cases. You have to do a different way to approach the market. And again, you have to look at it as, as one. You cannot separate anymore. Right. And through the collaboration of the customer with, uh, I would say, right. their, the partners, process expert, then you can achieve this goal. Otherwise, there is a lot of chance you will not succeed. Yeah, and uh, even if they uh, choose to have different partners, I think from the day one, it will be very clear who are the partners, what are the process, and how do we integrate the entire process, right? Yeah, you're fully correct. I mean, it's a different ways to handle project. On, mm -hmm. I would say it's still a challenge here, I would say, in a certain market. Mm -hmm. But it's changing because people have failed, mm -hmm. definitively. And that's why this approach show, uh, I would say, more efficiency. But as well, to select, let's say, proper partners, which has expertise, can speed as well uh, the project at the end. Because through this expertise, you can cut corners and go to the goal much faster. Yeah. That's why the gain back, maybe you may have to invest a bit more, 
But the gain back is, is tremendous because if it doesn't work, then you lose everything at the end. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's it's what is very important. Yeah, I think the long term ROI is definitely justified when you think and choose the right partners. That's right. Yeah, totally correct.